Well, hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. Once again, I just want to say thank you for choosing to spend a few moments with me. Um, I just got home from work, but I wanted to show you something. So right up front, I'm going to say this video, once again, will be kind of a little mix up or mash up of whatever we've got going on. But I'm kind of excited to show you this. Well, you'll understand. I want to first start by saying that I just know that as a husband, I'm extremely blessed to have the wife that I have. And I told her I was going to say some of this stuff, but I didn't. And I said, it's not to suck up. This is like legit. I am a very blessed man, I know. Now, I want to say this as well. I am not picking on anybody. I always say, you do you, and we will do us. But here's the deal. Michelle, as you know, and myself, we're both pretty much foodies. Michelle, before she was, uh, before she became unable to do a lot of baking and cooking, baked and cooked all the time. And she was, her thing is cookbooks. So, in regards to me being fortunate, like, Michelle never asked for anything. And she doesn't go out behind my back and spend a bunch of money and stuff like that. So, I'm just extremely blessed. So, when she finds something that she's kind of excited about, I get excited for her. And I want her to have, right? So at any rate, last night she, well, she had called me before I got home and she said, I want to show you something when you get home and blah, blah, blah. I, I guess I'm talking too much. Long story short, she found on Facebook Marketplace uh, an elderly woman who for reasons that I won't go into is not in need of her cookbook collection anymore. So she was selling the whole thing and Michelle bought it for an unbelievable price. So it worked out good for everybody. This woman wanted to sell, Michelle wanted to buy, the price was really good. Michelle see, was able to see in a couple of pictures that there was some books that she wanted and I got up to Woodstock today and was able to pick them up. And this woman's husband was there and helped me carry him to the truck and everything. So anyway, that's a lot. But I'm going to step to the side and show you. This, this is the cookbook collection that she was able to get. It's clear to the floor. I'm going to take the camera down in a second and show you. They're all boxed up. I haven't seen them. Michelle has not seen them yet. I'm going to take them in basically a box at a time after I feed the cat and we'll start looking through them. But at any rate, eight boxes. Part of me wants to weigh them, but I know they're several hundred pounds. But anyway, it's pretty cool. So, and as we open the boxes, I won't say tonight, but as we go through them and whatnot, the more interesting ones, the ones she decides she wants to show, I will show you. We have a spot for them. And looking at that, I'm not sure they'll all go there, but yeah, we will. We'll get, we'll show you. And some of you are foodies as well. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, first off, just let me say that they're obviously not in book boxes. This is a collection that this woman has been gathering up for a lot of years, right? So, yeah. Now, if you're foodies as well, you'll know this name of Epicure is uh, Spice, and they make all kinds of products for cooking and baking. So anyway, that's that. If you're interested, keep watching. There will be other things maybe in this video, I don't know, but uh, yeah. It is now three days later. Um, I had picked up the books in the middle of the work week, so we kind of had to wait till today before we could really get into it too much. We did look them over real fast. We went through the boxes 
and there is an incredible amount of cookbooks and stuff, magazines, all kinds of stuff. Now, cookbooks are a genre of a collectible. Michelle loves to cook, loves to bake. She's very good at it, I might add. And she's, she, she reads cookbooks like some people read novels, right? So today we went about sorting and eliminating a few things and there was so many books. I'm gonna say this right off. Right now I'll show you this. This is a full box of magazines that she has no interest in. So I would imagine they're just gonna be thrown out. But yeah, there's, there's not much collectability, not much interest there for her and them. Some of you I know, we have heard, really, really enjoy looking at cookbooks as well. So you're gonna find that this may be more interesting than others. But it's for Michelle, very happy to do it. And we literally spent six hours, six and a half, kind of trying to sort out and look at some things. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of them right now. I still have the cardboard boxes in the center of the living room floor. Not gonna cut them up, destroy them until we know exactly what we're doing. I'm moving some things on some shelves to make space for these. I'm gonna clean out a cabinet, which I will show you in a few minutes. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna clean out a cabinet to put some of the books that I'm about to show you. There's some right there that I'll show you and some right there that I'll show you. And they are probably gonna go in the cabinet where we have the canning jar stored. And I have the pleasure of finding a new place for them, but I can. So there's gonna be some pantry work, but that won't be in this video. Maybe I'll show you in the next video. Pantries always need to be refreshed. And I'll show you her bookshelves. Now, there are other books on there. There's still some space where I'm gonna put some books. Uh, for those of you that have followed us for any amount of time, you would know that Michelle has physical limitations. So she can't reach down real low and she can't reach exceptionally high. So we have about a three shelf margin where she can get them herself. Other than that, I have to help her a bit. And that's my job, I like doing it. So anyway, I'm gonna show you some vintage cookbooks. This is the thing, there's so many genres, right? You got your hard covers and you got your soft covers, and then you got your vintage hard covers and your vintage soft covers, and then you got big books and then you got little books, right? And I'm one that likes to categorize and organize things. So that's what we're doing. I think she likes it as well. You know, uh, cookbooks that are of the same, like I'm gonna say, for example, pies. Wouldn't it be nice if they could all go in the pie section, but then you get a big pie book and a little pie book and. A, Yada, 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 yada. So anyway, I'm gonna show you, first off, a stack of vintage cookbooks. And some of them are really old. There's a couple here that we found a copyright date on, like in the middle 50s. So yeah, few of them, and then we'll see. Stay tuned. So I guess first I'm gonna give you a real quick scan, just so maybe you can get an idea of the volume of books that we have here. Right? These are the, the vintage, vintage, vintage. And there's quite a few there. These are obviously, they're thinner, they're smaller. Look at this one here. I believe this is one from about the 50s. I'm not 100% sure. There's so many, we've looked at so many, right? Like this one right here, for example. This is definitely from the 50s. Yes, it was at a yard sale at some point or not a yard sale, but like, you know, on a discount shelf. This one here, we're keeping it actually more because it is vintage than anything else. And if I remember correctly, somewhere in here, it actually, there, that one's copyright applied for in 1963. So that's getting really darn old, right? And then you have K 
Campbell's cooking cookbook, Cooking with Soup. We have several Campbell's books, right? And this is the smallest one, but it's also real vintage, so it goes here. Now you look at this one. You can tell they're old. Chatelaine, and then look at the pages. They're even, it's even yellowing and stuff. It's very old books. And Michelle really, really enjoys that. And there is some really great recipes in there. So, you can see, obviously, quite a, or a difference in the size. So, these ones here, I think, are going to go in the cabinet where the jars are right now. So, that's those ones. And then I'm going to try to turn over here without going too crazy. Now, these ones... These ones here are all like regional cookbooks. There's a couple here that I know some of you will find very interesting. Now this little cookbook here has a point of interest. CMS, that stands for Centerville Middle School. And that is the school where Michelle and I met. We were going to school together in the Centerville Middle School. So that's where we actually met. Now these here were sort of fundraisers or Ottawa, Canada, Department of Agriculture. Volume one, the County of Owen by the United Ch Church Women, Keswick, Kedgwick Ridge, New Brunswick. And this is the second one. So this Kedgwick Ridge is not too far from us. I was there on Friday. I'm not sure where these ones were, and I'm not going to go through each and every one of them, bore you to tears, but regional cookbooks have an attachment. Now over here, I say, some of you will find this, these ones interesting. Look at that. Our favorite recipes, Machias Savings Bank, Machias, Maine. This one, Katahdin Kitchens, Volume 2. That would be Katahdin, Maine, right? This one here, another one. Machias Savings Bank, Machias, Maine. That one is actually Woodstock, New Brunswick, not too far from here. Magnetic Hill, that would be Moncton. All, like you say, regional, regional cookbooks. The Red Hats. It is my understanding that my late grandmother, who died uh, four years ago now, who was, over, was literally almost 101 years old, was a member of the Red Hats, and I know that her daughter is, right? Regional specialty cookbooks. Now, there was one, I think, is it in this stat? Not sure. I think it's not is the problem. But at any rate, we literally have two of these little books from, I think there were, one was from Holton, Maine, and it's a bicentennial, U.S. bicentennial, so it's 1976. We have two little books like that that are from 1976. Really, really interesting. And I know they would be very interesting to some people, right? Especially if you're from Holton, Maine. Lots of old pictures. Now, as you can see here, I still have this whole space that I can fill up. We just haven't got there yet. We had to take a break for supper, right? And some of these books, especially like here, we had on another shelf. And I'm going to show you that shelf in just in a moment. But an awful lot of these, like this one and this one. Uh, well, all of these, I think. The Christmas ones and whatnot are books that she... Or the Christmas ones we she just purchased. And some of these are mixed in with books that she had... But you can see we're kind of reclaiming this shelf for books. And down there, all the magazines are some that she had. But they're the new ones from today, most of them that she did decide to keep. And then these ones here she had. But yeah, so we're working our way into that shelf. And I'm going to show you the last one here. Okay, you can see that she has quite a lovely selection going here. And... Over in this section here, I still have room for a couple of more thinner books or one reasonably thick one. And then there's 
this, uh, what is it called? Goose patch or whatever. That little book belongs with them, but it's just small and it won't fit there. This big book won't is too tall for any of the shelves we have, but she loves it. That's one of the new ones she's got, 1950s cookbook, and it is looking like it's a really good book. The Big Betty Crocker cookbook there is new. The Fanny Farmer cookbook she's had for a while now, and that was not this particular one, but the Fanny Farmer cookbook is the first cookbook Michelle ever received. So then we go down in here, right? Barbara Fairchild. Martha Stewart, I guess. Joy of Baking, a lot of really good, really good cookbooks there. And I apologize, that's kind of a bit of a mess there. I don't even remember doing that. But anyway, companies coming cookbooks, as is that one standing up there, that red Christmas one. And then of course down here, we've got a bunch of Bibles and related materials. So yeah, so quite a few there. Michelle is quite excited and we still have more work to do, so. Okay, I thought it was important enough that I, since I talked about it, and you know, an awful lot of our regular viewers are from the U.S., and we love you. We're glad you're there. Um, and you know that I've tracked into 30 states, and I've enjoyed every minute of it, really. Uh, yeah, I've met a lot of nice people, a lot of really interesting and nice people. I stress that. Interesting doesn't necessarily mean bad. But anyway, um, you know I love the U.S. So I wanted to show you this. This book right here, Holton, 200th anniversary. This book, uh, I just flipped open to this page, but it is full of historical pictures. And of course, now I'm not into them, but just chock full of pictures. This book right here would be of value to collectors. Michelle's a collector. It's very valuable to her. And also, just a couple of these little ones. These are centennial books. Very, very exciting to have them for somebody who loves cookbooks. You know, this is an interesting little piece for most anybody. Especially, I'm guessing, if you were from Holton, Maine, you would find this book to be very interesting. But, yeah, so that's, that's that part of the video. Just thought I would take a moment to show you those. They're pretty cool. Um, now, also, just going to talk a minute about... And once again, I like to say I'm no expert, but I listen a lot to different sources. I read a fair bit from a few different sources to get some good news are not good news. I would love to have good news, but some valuable news. Let's put it that way. I'm not wanting anybody to panic, but I am saying we need to be very, very vigilant of what's going on. Try to find out what's going on. I'm sure most of you do. Find out what's going on outside of your locale, um, outside of your country, what's happening in Europe. There's a lot of interesting things going on over there. There's uh, a lot of crazy things going on in the political world, which I'm not gonna get into too much because, just because. Um, what I would say about prepping your pantry, I think this is what we need to do a little bit as well, or I wouldn't be telling you to do it. You remember the video, a couple of videos back, I said I had picked up a case of soup. I think the time for bulk buying products like that is now upon us. If you find a sale and you can get soup like that for 50% of its regular price, get as much as you can. I'm wishing now I'd brought another case. Say la vie, I did not. Uh, yeah, we are now getting into like, we have a good, we had a stock build up for more than like a year and a half and as I said, our pantry is always a working pantry. And when prices are high on something, if we have a stash, we use out of it a bit. 
and then if we catch a sale we will replenish that and there are some areas where we need to replenish because we're getting down we haven't had to buy shampoo toothpaste soap anything like that for a long time but it is time to now gather up some more soap like the shampoo Michelle uses different things like that so without trying to stir any panic I just think that if you need or if you can you find them sales and I'll tell you the sales are getting fewer and further in between that soup was the best sale even at Walmart that we've seen for a long time prices are extremely high and getting higher we watch some American channels and we're just amazed we hear some of you talk about the prices going up and they are for you but we haven't paid the kind of prices you're paying now for for a couple three years you know like our prices are a lot higher than what some were seeing but trust me I get it I know they're still high for you they're only going to get worse so if you can buy some items in bulk that you know you're going to use now's the time to do it if you haven't been already now's the time to do it so if you've watched this far I hope you enjoyed the little look at Michelle's cookbook collection I know she enjoys it and there's going to be some news on that coming up fairly soon I, I'm not sure it's going to be up to her but uh, stay tuned for that and uh, thank you once again please subscribe if you haven't give us a thumb up thumbs up that was pretty crazy wasn't it? a thumb up give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video a little look at Michelle's I wish I could show you what I like but not on this channel Anyway, this is Kevin the Homemaker Husband saying God bless and bye for now. Oh. Oh.